Hello everyone and welcome to 2022 Tech Talks. It's our first Tech Talk at, uh, live in a couple years, so it's super exciting to be here. Um, I'm here at the Wolfram Technology Conference in Champaign, Illinois, and I'm here with Devendra Kapadia, who manages the Calculus and Algebra uh, team for Wolfram. And he's going to be sharing with us uh, just about mathematics and statistics online courses with Wolfram U. Um, so I, my, it's nice to have you here. Are you excited yeah. to be here for the first time in person in a couple of years? <laughs> yes, it's great to be back. And um, you know, this, this hotel is, we hand conferences, a wonderful, and it makes you feel that you're doing something really different from an everyday existence. So yes, I'm really happy to be back live. Yeah, it's really exciting to yeah. be here. I, I'm new to the company. I've been here for just a little bit. And um, that leads me to my first question. Just, I would love to hear more about Wolfram from you, from you, from someone internally, and I'm sure the viewers would as well. Um, I would just love to hear more about what is offered and just a little bit of background about MOOCs and Wolfram from you. Sure. So Wolfram from you, uh, as the name says, is our own little university. It's it's not little. It's actually pretty big. And I think uh, the, the roots of Wolfram go back to probably 19. Uh, the late 99, but really it all took off in the early 2000s and since then it started growing uh, and then what's happened today is that we have a vast number of courses over there on different things like data science, mathematics, Wolfram language, engineering uh, and so basically we are like a typical university but uh, it's all online, it's all free. There are study groups to help people, those start in the pandemic so people can come and learn with us. So Wolfram U is the go-to place for our users and for anyone in the world who wants to learn more about our mathematical and other areas. And I should just uh, say that we are an education company and to us education is probably our most important objective. So Wolfram U is key to that objective. Awesome, yeah. What, uh, what are the benefits of taking a Wolfram U course just for students or professionals? So I actually, I can say it because I, I've done a few of these now and I get a lot of feedback from real users who actually took the courses. And there are a few categories. One is uh, students who are taking a, a parallel course at university. So I get, let's say, a letter from, an email from Saudi Arabia saying, you know, that, you know, I've been asked to do this course along with my image processing course. for Lin So, and they do the course and then they get some credit for their course. There are then uh, people who are actually seniors, you know, who, who want to keep up their learning. Mm -hmm. And I actually had uh, one student who, student I'm going to say, was probably around 65 years and her mother had tried to teach her calculus, didn't work out when she was young and then she learned with Wolfram U finally. Uh, a third category is people are trying to, let's say, switch jobs. That happens in the real world and you want to do better for yourself. Where do you go? Go to Wolfram U. So these are not just, you know, kind of stories. They're, they're, this is what's happened to me uh, through emails in the last few years. So I say Wolfram U courses are great. Uh, they are very well uh, tested, very well, you know, uh, checked for quality. So they are world class and available to everyone everywhere. That's great. It's wonderful that education is so accessible in this day and age. But um, so what is n new this year in Wolfram U? Right, so, so in terms of Wolfram U, it's a, a huge, uh, you know, kind of project and uh, there are courses going on in every direction. I think, like I said, data science is one important area, machine learning, data science, etc. cetera. Um, we have our own language, which I think is probably the best programming language in the world in terms of ease. So we try to teach that. Uh, in my own area, I have been developing um, courses for the last few years. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what has happened recently uh, in the last few years and then go on to uh, what's upcoming. So uh, to get some background over here, uh, we have had three mathematics MOOCs. So you might ask, what's a MOOC? A MOOC is a massive open online course. That means anyone can take it. You might have 5,000 people taking it at one time. That does happen. Uh, it's open. Anyone can take it. It's online. You just need your laptop or computer. And it's a, a regular course. And in fact, if you do them correctly, then you actually get certification. And uh, I've done three of these for my team so far. There's the calculus course, which you see on the left. It's basically an AP calculus course in this country. Uh, it's done phenomenally well. Uh, I get email from places like you know, Nigeria and Africa, from the Himalayas, etc., saying how good this course is. Uh, then linear algebra courses uh, from roughly the pandemic around 2020. And uh, it's a brief course, but 
it does lots of modern applications like you know um, quantum entanglement and data compression and all that. So both those are being received very well. A more recent course is differential equations that appeared just this year. Uh, that's a slightly more advanced course that caters to people who are headed for engineering or economics or whatever. But that's what we've had um, so far. And each of these courses has got lessons in it. So you can actually learn the topic, uh, their exercise. They are all solved because we don't expect people to hire tutors to teach them how to solve exercise. Mm -hmm. So we just do them for you. Uh, we've got quizzes to help you check your learning. And in, if you're really keen on it, you may not like exams. If you like them and you want to be certified, <laughs> we actually have a final exam for each course. So really, it's like going to university, but in the comfort of your home. And with, I would say, if I cast my modesty apart for a minute, uh, that with world-class uh, people, because that's what Wolfram is in the area of mathematics. So uh, that's what's happened so far. And uh, right now, we are all really excited about the algebra MOOC. So algebra, you might think, is a really uh, simple subject. It's not, I think. Uh, this course is at the middle school level. Uh, it starts from very basic variable expressions, like sixth or seventh grade kind of course. But then it goes on quickly to talk about uh, finding the quadratic equation, which I think is the most important kind of equation in algebra, even for a software like the one we work on. So the algebra MOOC is ready to go. We had a study group. Uh, we had people telling us how to make it slightly better and very soon it will be available to everyone. So I hope that if anyone is here who's in middle or high school and wants to learn algebra, even college, I think uh, they should go to this course. Uh, honestly, I think that if you could solve the problem of teaching algebra, we'd be good over here in, in this country. Okay, so that's uh, right now. And then uh, the really exciting thing for me, because it's going to come very soon, is statistics. Now, statistics is the modern uh, holy grail for students because Data science is statistics, everything is statistics nowadays. So we need to know data really well. And we have two courses coming up over here. Um, there's a probability course you see on left and a more elementary studies course. Let me just run this animation to give you a feel for probability. Uh, it's a very foundational course, a bit advanced, but we've tried to make it fun for everyone. It talks about the main problems, there are nice animations. It, it's, it's, it's a really wonderful course that's uh, coming up. And uh, the instructor, Mark Vicuna is a recent graduate uh, in this area. He's full of ideas, very knowledgeable, and uh, fun to learn with. Uh, the other course on statistics, I'm just going to play the small excerpt from video. This is part of the course. And there's Dave Witoff is an old, experienced instructor for Wolfram U. He's been, been doing it for a long time. And he's a fantastic instructor. So I think if you're a high school student who wants to learn statistics, here's the place to go. Now, uh, this first course uh, will touch on machine learning. Um, you know, when we did probability, I actually wrote a function called probability a long time ago. Uh, machine learning didn't exist basically, but since then it's become really important. Mm -hmm. And so we touch on machine learning over here. Uh, and the other thing we touch on is actuarial science. Now, uh, I don't know how many people know what, what actuaries are, but actuaries are people who decide how much insurance you pay. So, so actuaries themselves make a lot of money. So if you want to have a really good career for yourself, do actuarial science. This is the place to go. And uh, this particular course on probability actually has uh, practice problems from the exam piece. Exam piece, exam probability in the actuarial science uh, area. And uh, this course is for the AP statistical exam. So AP is advanced placement in this country. Um, I think around... 185, 190,000 people took the AP exam statistics last year. So uh, between those two courses, it will cover everyone from high school all the way to uh, graduate level. Yeah. So this is what's happening on the stats side. And uh, what I'm really excited about is that next year, you're going to go really big. So we have a multivariable calculus course coming up. Multivariable calculus is little bit advanced. Uh, the instructor in this case, uh, Tim McDevitt, is an experienced college professor. Um, he got a bit delayed, uh, but he had a good excuse. He was on national duty in the U.S. Senate, mm. uh, helping with data science That's incredible. Uh, to try and bring inflation down, probably. Uh, but he's back on duty with us and uh, doing this course. He's a wonderful instructor. Wow. Um, uh, he, he listens to his students. And, uh, gosh, there's just so much to talk about, but uh, 
We have a course on discrete mathematics, which we plan for next year. That's for computer science. And one for finite mathematics, which is for business school. So business school is probably, oh, I think uh, you have a business yeah, yeah, degree. Yeah, I, I did go to business school. Yeah, <laughs> so business school is very, very big. Yeah. And uh, if I remember right, 390,000 students do business, something of that sort yeah. every year. So uh, did you ever do finite math yourself? I did. I, How do you like it? I'm, I'm uh, not, do, you, do you like it? I, d I did like it. I'm not um, the biggest math person, but <laughs> I am, you know, I worked towards it and I tried really hard and studied. I wish I would have known about Wolfram U at the time to be yeah. able to help me with that in my statistics class too. <laughs> right. So uh, I find that when I, I thought finite math is a really simple course. It's just the algebra course plus the stats course put together to be useful for business. But I find students seem to find it really hard. So my goal next year is to make this the best finite math course in the world. But that's easier said than done. When you teach, um, you don't know what's going to go right, what's going to go wrong, and you can easily uh, not do well enough. So I'm working hard with my team to get these courses uh, up by next year. So if all goes well, uh, then the next time we come here and have a tech talk, then uh, I think we'll have around 10 math and stats courses available uh, for everyone of the world. Uh, these courses are good for us. We want people to know about our products, about mathematical world from language. Mm -hmm. They're good for users. They know how to use our products. And they're good for the world. I agree. So this is just my uh, plan for what's coming up. That's incredible. It, it's really nice to hear that you guys have such good plans uh, that are just going to benefit the world and everything and the future of education. And um, I do have one question about study groups for you. Is uh -huh. that, this, are the study groups with professors that are like teaching the courses or are they with other students as well? Or how do you study groups specifically right. work? That's a great question. So a study group is held over a period of typically three weeks. Uh, and the idea is to go through the whole course of 30 lessons or whatever with the instructor for the course. Wow. So, we do play the videos in the in the study groups so that you know people can also follow along the online version. But the instructor is physically present in the room in the online room. Uh, when I did the calculus course, I had I don't know on an average 250 people in the room. Wow. So a lot of lot of interaction going on. Uh, we pause the videos and ask questions. We have uh, you know like feedback from them as to how well they are doing. Mm -hmm. So study groups are kind of live events uh, for anyone who can enroll for them and find a time for them. And the instructor is present. So yes, uh, you actually get to meet the instructor for the course. That's incredible. Wow. I might have to go take one of these courses myself now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, do you have a favorite course within the Wolfram U universe that you would like to share with everyone? Just whatever's your favorite? Um, right. So I think uh, the course that I really like, uh, that's a model course, a student Wolfram's course on it's called, we call it EIWL, which means Elementary Introduction to Wolfram Language. Mm -hmm. And I think there are many good teachers in the company, but Stephen Wolfram is the best. Uh, he really communicates well. He writes, he's, he, he, he's got all these really complicated ideas about the universe and all that, but when he talks to students, he really comes down to the level and talks to them. He actually meets middle school students. So unlike any of us, at least unlike me, he doesn't talk theory. He's a, he's a very practical kind of person. So he loves kids and that shows through in his course. So that's my favorite course. Thank you for that. And this talk has been so informative and I've learned so much about just the ins and outs of the company um, through this and through about Wolfram U. So I really appreciate you being here with us today. Um, do you have anything else you want to tell everyone or? Well, all I say is that keep learning. Uh, I'm still learning. Uh, I've done mathematics all my life, but I find there's just so much to, to learn. And don't hesitate to uh, take help. Um, it's always available. You just need to tell people that you need help. And the best place if you want to learn mathematics right now at any level, well, it, within one year is going to be wool from you. So come join us. Thank you. Thank you so much for such an informative talk from you know, the expert himself. But um, this was the first talk of Tech Talks, and we'll be back um, all this week to just keep showing you the new, new and upcoming things happening at Wolfram. Thank you all for being here, and have a good rest of your day. Thank you, Rebecca.